Next question is from Cowboy Brewer on YouTube. This seems very off topic for the scheduled live video because he dropped this question on the one where I was going to talk about leadership and, and job to career. But could you give a brief breakdown of the different findings available on the pro side? And do they all offer the same gluten reducing benefits? Also, is there, is there an easy to use formula to determine how much to use in each batch? I used Seller Science Finding Agent for the first time on my first logger and it didn't clear, but I'm not sure if I used the correct dosage or not. Cowboy Brewer, great question. Uh, remember when we're talking about findings, we're talking about a, a couple of a, a couple of different things. Okay. So first of all, we have hot side findings, which are in general going to be some sort of uh, seaweed. Uh, derivative type thing, right? Where you're going to have, what would it be? Uh, it's not Isinglass because that's fish guts and that's cold side. Um, uh, Irish moss, right? So like on the homebrew side, we're used to seeing Irish moss. Um, and and there's there's products like that that can be used uh, for for clarity on uh, on the pro side. I would dig into either your your major supplier, whether you're BSG, Country Malt Group, or LD Carlson, and dig in and look at what their look at what their hot side uh, additives are. Uh, for me personally, for a long time, I've used Whirlflock, and and that's done a good job. That doesn't do it all though, um, but so consider that like your your hot side additive. And there are more options as well, but Whirlflock uh, has always worked well for me. Um, follow the dosing instructions per your uh, per the package. Um, whenever they have those listings on the website, you can pull up the spec sheet and their usage sheet or whatever. It'll be a PDF. It'll tell you how much to use per hectoliter or per barrel. Are you proud of me for saying hectoliter before barrel? Okay. Hopefully you are. Um, and then continuing on. And do they all offer the same gluten reducing benefits? We need to separate this idea. The only one that I know that has a gluten reducing benefit is an, is an enzyme that is built for clarity and increased uh, uh, filterability of that beer. But that is an enzyme that goes on the cold side. And that's the only one that I know that impacts uh, gluten reduction. And that is Brewer's Clarex. Clarity firm on the homebrew side. And there is a calculator for that. They do have a calculator. I believe it's on the Murphy and Sons. I think that's a Murphy's. Maybe it's not. But there is a calculator out there for it. Uh, so check that out. Um, but yeah, the, the the clarity thing there's there's a lot of factors in, included in there. You you can use all the clarifiers and still have issues, um, and so there there's multiple other factors uh, tracking down the the amount of calcium that you have in there uh, in your water profile, making sure that there's maybe somewhere between seventy five and hundred parts per million calcium in the finished beer uh, per like I use uh, brewing water. So yeah. That's my uh, that's my that's my thought on that cowboy. I appreciate the question and congrats on the shirt. Hit me up through a private channel uh, so I can get a uh, name, address, and shirt and size that you want. Con congratulations! It's one of the one of the two benefits of being a tier one channel member. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.